As we bring today's edition of TMI to a tail end, joining me on this segment is the Edo State FRSC Sector Commander, Paul Okbe. Thanks for coming, Paul. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure to be here. Okay, uh, let's look at what you are bringing in because uh, you uh, started office uh, in Edo State as the Sector Commander in January, I guess. Yes. Uh, and uh, what are you deploying to bringing safety on our roads differently from what others have done in order to bring respite in this direction? Thank you so much. Good morning, my people of Edo State. I bring greetings to all of you. It's my pleasure to be on this program. I was on duty in Edo State on the 20th of uh, January, 2023. I assumed duty here after having served as Central Commander of Ocean State for nearly two years. And since coming on board, we have tried to to visit a, a number of stakeholders, both in the public and private sector, to see how we can all work together to bring sanity on our roads in Edo State. And in achieving our targets, we are working closely with our special marshals, the volunteer arm of the FRSC. And so far, we also tried to visit um, the managing director of Edo Transport Authority. I'll be having a lot of uh, meetings with uh, all stakeholders, like I said earlier. We are studying and also we are carrying out survey of the city, especially Benin City. And I've also tasked all my commanders in various locations in Edo State that they must step up their game to ensure that no citizen of Edo State and no Nigeria that passed through Edo State will die on the road. We are working towards ensuring that we have zero, zero deaths okay. on the okay. highway. Okay, let's look at the expectations of the motorists from uh, your new administration, you know, in Edo State, uh, because they say uh, the fear of FRAC is the beginning of wisdom. And uh, what do you, what do you, should they expect from you, this administration in terms of what they should have in order for them not to be caught napping in the law? Yes. I have uh, seen a number of infractions on the road, especially in Benin. I've seen traffic jam and all that. And uh, like I said earlier, we are, have visited also the, uh, the general manager of uh, a road traffic agency. Uh, I've seen a lot of infractions disobedience to traffic rules, mm. especially, especially the use of phone, uh, route violation that is uh, facing oncoming vehicles. And also I've seen a lot of, uh, some rickety vehicles on the road. I've seen traffic situations that are, 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 are man-made, especially are mat. And uh, we have also started uh, traffic control management and monitoring. Okay, are you clamping down on motorists uh, that are seen not to be having the wherewithal in terms of keeping our roads safe? Oh, yes. And you know, safety on the road is a collective res responsibility. So we are starting, especially with uh, our public enlightenment, speaking to the minds of the people that they must change their attitude. Those who engage in this, for us to have a better state. Because this is not left for just one person. It's not okay. left for the government alone. Okay, what attitude do you expect them to come up with and what should they have in their Yes, programs? and uh, the governor said it in one of the programs that I attended when he flagged off the, the redesign of some junctions, road junctions. He appealed to the members of the transport unions that they should appeal to their people, their members, not to obstruct the road when they drive. Obstructing the road is, is, just, is also just acceptable. And that is why you have these traffic jams. For where the roads are bad, we are appealing to government, and government is doing its best. You can see that a purchase of roads is all going. Okay, what are you doing about articulated vehicles, even, even close to your office here in uh, Oluku? Uh, the articulated vehicles are attacked. Even, and even a bottling company. Uh, uh, yes, just, uh, I, met with the, I, met, I met with the GM of 7UP, and they have taxed my commander at Togate, and also at uh, ONC. That they must go out to ensure that all these obstructions are removed from the road. It's not allowed. And that is why, personally, I go on the road myself. 
At traffic, at traffic control, I go to monitor the boys. Even under the rain, I stood at Terra Mats the other day to ensure that a, a truck that broke down there was removed. Okay, are you assuring that there will not be sacred cows? Because we've had There's nothing other like that. sector commanders, you know, come to speak in this fashion, but in the course of uh, carrying out uh, their duties, uh, they seem to have lapses. Uh, I know. Are you, are you assuring that? I'm assuring, I'm assuring you and assuring our citizens in those states that there will be no sacred cows. Okay, okay, now, now, now. We will make them, you know, like I said, it's a collective responsibility, and we will speak to their minds. To, to do the right thing. Okay. Uh, we've seen inspections and uh, we've seen uh, your, you know, officials coming out on the roads. Yes. Uh, but for quite some time now, I, I don't know, are you making a, a plan to double the number or to uh, confront motorists who may not have the wherewithal or the certificates or the... the uh, Driver license, license and all of yeah, that. Yes. yes. What, what, should they, what should they have? in order for them not to have issues with the FRSC under your command? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, it, it, is, uh, it is a known fact that uh, for, for a motorist to go on the road, he must have a driver's license, he must have the vehicle papers, and he must have everything that is required for one to drive. And he must have the right mind to drive and not drink and drive. And so when we see you that, we, with that, we, 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 we arrest you. Okay, how are you tackling the issue of uh, racketeering in the, the issuance of driver's license? Yes, uh, thank you so much. Yesterday I had a meeting with all heads of uh, driver license centers across the state. And immediately after that, I visited the chairman of, uh, of the uh, state internal revenue service, Mr. John uh, Sage. Okay. Uh, that was the second meeting I was having with him. So uh, we are looking at all areas where there are infractions. You know, there are a lot of touting in, uh, in the issue of driver's license and vehicle papers. Mm. But what I will appeal, and also to our people, is that they should go to the board themselves. You don't sit in the comfort of your room and say, go process license for me. You are encouraging touting and the rest. But I've told my officers that on no account should I find touts operating around where we have these centers. And these were working with the board of internal to eliminate them. That they should move out of that area. And from here, I'm going to, to, to visit one of the driver license centers. Okay. Because after our meeting yesterday, I told the officer I'm going to visit there. So I'm going around. I'm, a, I'm, I'm an operational officer. Oh, great. Yes. <laughs> and I believe that God helping all of us, working with the special masters and all stakeholders, we are going to change the game in Edo State. Okay. And we are going to have sanity on the road. All right. Your final words to motorists. Yes. I appeal to all, all, all motorists in Edo State who, who are citizens who wish and yearn for a good state that we must all join hands to make roads in Edo State safe for all to drive. And that road safety is a collective responsibility. Thank you so much. And that's uh, the Edo State FRSC Sector Commander Paul Okbe. And big thanks for taking our time to be part of this segment. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This will call it a wrap on today's edition of TMI. Do uh, join us same time tomorrow uh, where um, Evans Unokoge will be on board. My name is Philip Omo Gupo. Do have a beautiful day ahead of you. Goodbye. <laughs>